we are celebrating the, the arrival in, in Babcock of the first H160 that we will rent to the French Navy. It is a big project with Airbus helicopter, Safran helicopter engines, the DGA and the French Navy. We will provide six of those helicopters to the, to the Navy for search and rescue mission and counter-terrorism missions. And uh, it will be a prefiguration of the next contract uh, of the H-160 military, which will be delivered in the three services, Army Aviation, Navy Aviation and Air Force in the next 30 years. The role of Babcock in that contract is, firstly, we are the owner of the helicopter. We will rent this helicopter to the French state. We will provide all the, what we call the STC, it's the modification uh, that we will provide on the helicopter to have all the equipment uh, needed by the, um, by the Navy and we will provide all the maintenance, the line maintenance and the base maintenance and we will train the future technician, mechanician of the, the Navy. This helicopter's missions will be focused on search and rescue, so it will join the French Navy for taking land-based search and rescue missions around the French coast. The capabilities of this helicopter, which is of a brand new generation, are really around its safety features, its operating economics and its pilotability. So we're into a very comfortable, very safe ride with excellent operating economics and so it's beneficial for both the pilots, the passengers and the operators at large. We've signed a contract with the, the French DGA for the military version of the H160. So we first of all are going to do a development phase for all of the military features of that helicopter, readying for its entry into service in 2027. We'll have a land-based uh, option or land-based version a Navy version and an Air Force version, all of which based on the same common civil baseline, which will be beneficial there again for operating economics and reliability.